Our next caller is Garrett from Nebraska. Hey, Garrett, how can we help you? Hey, guys. So my question is, so my wife and I currently work out together in the mornings, and we've kind of, we're running split right now, and we've ran aesthetic in the past. But what we've kind of come up with a problem is once we start hitting some of those uh, higher rep schemes, we kind of start seeing plateaus. And so I've kind of been wondering is once we start seeing and hitting some of those plateaus, should we just kind of take a break and come back to it? Like where we left off in the program or should we kind of switch up programs entirely or where should we go from there? I guess to kind of um, stay on track with the programs. Okay. So that's, that's a really good question, but I need to ask you a few more questions before I can uh, answer that. So how do you feel physically in that la- that third phase of maps uh, split, because maybe for the listeners who don't know, right, map split is our our sp- our kind of bodybuilder split uh, maps program. And phase three incorporates higher reps. There's supersets in there. The intensity is a, a pretty high. Um, so uh, so for you, Garrett, how are you how are you guys feeling in the third phase at phase physically? Um, usually pretty good, probably three to four days out of the week. After that, uh, we both kind of get a little bit of ga- a little bit gassed. Um, and you can just see the frustration between us both when we're not kind of hitting some of the weights that we've hit in the past weeks. Okay. Are you, uh, are you noticing any changes in energy and sleep? Um, any, any extra soreness? Um, not necessarily soreness. Um, but sometimes it is, you know, waking up and almost seems to be <laughs> dreading what, co- what comes from the workouts almost. Okay. So here's a deal. Um, so map split is one of our more advanced, uh, workout programs. And the third phase is a lot of volume. A lot of volume. And what it sounds to me like, and by the way, uh, I have to modify split in the third phase for myself. Uh, it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot of reps. It's their supersets. The volume is so high. It's six days a week. And what you're experiencing is burnout. And one of the, the characteristics of burnout is loss of motivation. Uh, you start to, it's hard to wake up. It's hard to get through the workout. You start to dread doing the next one. So there's a couple things you could do here. Now, you can do what you suggested, which would be to kind of ignore that phase and move into another one. But I think there's a lot of value in the higher reps and the supersets for a lot of people. I think what you need to do is reduce the volume. In fact, I would cut the volume in half go through the third phase and then see how you feel. Cause what you're describing sounds like classic, uh, overtraining. Okay. I also, you know, what happens to me in this situation too, okay. is, is the, uh, the psychological piece is, is tough. Like, um, if you've been going through phase one and phase two, I mean, those are, those are st- more strength based, right? Mm-hmm. So you're feeling really strong, especially if you're following the program to a T week over week, you feel like you're getting stronger, you're stronger. Then all of a sudden you hit phase three and the opposite happens because all of a sudden you're super setting, the volume goes up significantly. You have higher reps. Now all of a sudden I see my, all my weights go down. Yeah. I'm benching less, I'm squatting less, I'm de- everything's less, 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 less. And I, I, it used to just, it would mind fuck me all the time where I'm like, I want to get out of this because I, I feel weaker mm-hmm. right now going through this. But like Sal's alluding to, I think the high rep, this, there's a lot of value of training that way. I just have to constantly be kind of coaching and talking to myself like, it's okay, Adam, that you're doing the 50s now. Yeah. It's okay that you're, you're, you're deadlifting half the way here because the desired outcome isn't, can I continue to progress my weights in this phase? It's that my body needs this because I've been training in more of a strength phase. I'm going to benefit from it as far as changing body composition. So I want to stick through it. Can't wait to get back to that phase one where I'm lifting strong again. But I know that's something that I've always got to talk to myself when I hit these phases. Yeah, it is a bit of a record skip. You know, it, it, it's it's totally a, a shock uh, and change to the previous phases. So yeah, to Adam's point, that that's something that you, you've got to account for that too. Like your, your strength may feel different different because it's a completely different adaptation we're trying to acquire with this. And so, you know, definitely, you know, think about reducing volume, but also think about, uh, you know, it's a different mindset completely going into that. I, I try and I try and think pump, right? So when I get into that, those third phases of almost all of our programs, right? Most all the programs, you know, hypertrophy, the pump is where we're kind of going in that, that third phase. 
that I, I stop thinking about right. how much weight I'm moving and I'm thinking about, oh man, how much am I pumping that muscle up? Is it mm. feel like my skin's super tight and I can really feel that muscle working? I'm thinking form, connection, pump, and I'm trying not to focus on, oh my God, I'm so much weaker <laughs> right now or I feel like I'm much weaker than what I was just two, three weeks ago. Yeah, but ultimately, um, you know, our programs are written for the masses and uh, ideally what someone would do is follow the program and then start to modify it by mm -hmm. listening to their body. There's no, uh, there's no program I could write for the masses that's going to be perfect for every individual. It's just impossible. And I know this as a trainer. And based off what you're telling me, it just sounds like it's too much. And that's super common with MAP split. Um, so uh, here's my, my suggestion. Cut the volume in half. Try half the volume and then see how you start to feel. You may just notice that your body starts to now when you tell again. when you tell him to cut half the volume. Are you because there's a lot of ways you can cut half the volume? Are you saying reduce the the weight significantly? Are you saying reduce the sets or the amount of exercises? Where would you tell him? I to would go? cut the sets, sets in yeah. half. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if it, if an exercise is four sets, or maybe just drop one set I, of I everything would, off, or one set of everything off. Right. So look at your total sets. Cut everything in half. Uh, and start there because if you start to feel fatigued, if you start to lose the pump, this is what happens to me when I push too hard is I don't even get the pump anymore and I just find like it's like I'm doing cardio. Um, then I'll cut the volume. In fact, I just recently did this. I just recently cut my volume way down and now my body's responding um, excellent again. So give that a shot and then see what happens. And if that works out great, wonderful. If it still doesn't work out great, then I would look at maybe reducing the intensity a little bit. And if that doesn't work out great, then you can definitely do what you suggested. But I, I, I always caution people to when they want to avoid those higher rep sets because they have value. They really do. A few weeks of that uh, in a phase, even for just pure strength athletes, has a lot of value. Okay, awesome. Yes, I will definitely give that a try. All right, thanks. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, this is that's one that, um, you know, it's hard to be certain, like, what he's going through. But I know mm -hmm. that, and I, I think, Sal, you bring up a good point. Like, you definitely could be overtraining. But if this is a, a repeat thing that happens, he, he said it happened in aesthetic, it happened in split. When you get somebody who loves strength training yeah. Yeah. and lifting in that low rep range, it's you, you hate doing the opposite. Yes, yeah, and, and that, you, that's me. Both, yeah, both you fuckers are guilty of this. So I know. It's like, <laughs> I admit it. I, it's funny that you didn't go that direction because to me, that's what I see most of the time is that you you fall in love with away training, you fall in love with the strength gains, and you're just not going to see strength gains in high, in a hypertrophy phase. You're going to go the opposite direction. It's inevitable that's going to happen. And the 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 psychological piece is one of the toughest things for people to keep pushing through those phases because they're like, Man. and a lot of times it's exactly what you need you know exactly that's my point it's right. like the just like you guys i know that if you i you hired me the first phase i'm putting you in is high reps mm -hmm. because i know what you gravitate towards in training so i know what would benefit you the most so no that's totally true but you, we have to understand you got to consider this like the high reps that's a lot more volume no you're you know? right i mean i could do very high volume. yeah i could do five sets of three reps but he said he said it in a, it happened to him in aesthetic also and well, aesthetic is not a phase three uh, is is also high rep high volume it is is, it is, but not nearly as much as split is because split's a six day a week program yeah. where aesthetic is only a three day a week program. So maybe it's got it has a lot of volume in those three foundational days, but then your focus days are really light. So I mean, it, what what it screams to me is that every time you get to that fifteen rep range, super setting, lower rest periods, yeah. you just yeah. you just, don't like uh, it. Uh, yeah, and you're kind of gassed, and it's yeah. discouraging because you see you see yourself, you think you're getting weaker. You don't you don't you don't know that you're not getting weaker. All you see is like, oh, last week or last week when we were in phase two, I was benching two twenty five. Now I have to put one fifty on there. Well, I mean, all of it all of it points to getting your muscles to grow. All of it points to improving your physique. In fact, a study just came out that showed that uh, people who trained with the strength phase and an hypertrophy phase, so a low rep and a medium rep or moderate rep phase, did better than people who just stuck to the moderate reps the whole time and everything else was controlled. Mm -hmm. So changing into these different rep ranges, it's a different mindset, it's a different feel, but they all provide uh, tremendous value. So um, it's important to go through all of them. Yep.